It was an annual retreat in Garden City for youth members of Five Points Church, a chance for young people to fellowship and grow in their faith. The entire time we were down there, we all had fun. Um, but then on that one day, the uh, current was really, really bad because a storm came out of nowhere. What Noah's talking about is something called king tides, exceptionally high tides that can flood streets and create dangerous ocean conditions. The kids were told to exit the ocean immediately, but Noah noticed that one of his friends was still out there, drowning. Seeing his friend in trouble, Noah didn't hesitate. I just rushed in for him and prayed that I could get to him before he died. Noah was able to get there and keep them afloat long enough until more help arrived. Waves kept hitting me. As I was trying to keep him afloat, I would go under because he could swim, but where we were at, he couldn't touch. I, I could touch the entire time, but he would push me under as a, like a life support. I was willing to die that day for him if it meant that he would be alive today. Noah says he knows what he did that day was heroic, but for him, he was just trusting his faith and helping a friend. I realized that if it had not been for what I had done, his family would be grieving and planning his funeral right now. Noah says that boy is doing much better and is expected to make a full recovery. He encouraged others to please be safe while out in the ocean and to never step into conditions that you are not prepared for. Nigel, back to you.